Discover the influence of FI and DII on the Indian stock market with us. Today, January 31st, Tuesday, we analyze the buying and selling actions of foreign and domestic institutional investors and their effect on the market. Tune in as we delve into the data and uncover valuable insights. Let's start with the cash market. For three consecutive days, FIs ended as net sellers with amounts exceeding 4,000 crores each day. There is anticipation to see if the trend shifts on budget day, with many closely monitoring the situation. FI's net sold shares worth 5,439.64 Indian rupees crore and DI's net bought shares worth 4,506.31 Indian rupees crore on January 31, 2023, as per provisional data available on NSE. Now to the derivatives market. Retailers and FIs have taken different positions on the index futures market. Retailers raised their long positions in index futures, signaling a bullish stance. Despite closing a significant number of long positions in index call options and covering a large number of short positions in index put options, the overall net position still indicates a bullish outlook from retailers. On the other hand, FIs increased their short positions in index futures, demonstrating a bearish outlook. Despite adding to their long positions in index call options and closing some of their long positions in index put options, the overall net position remains bearish from the perspective of FIs. Meanwhile, pros took a bearish stance by boosting their short positions in index futures. They attempted to adjust their positions by covering some short positions in index call options and adding to short positions in index put options but the overall net position still reflects a bearish outlook from pros on the index.